keep getting a lot of emails on this video. Let me see what they say. So are they dirty now? Did you mean break these in at all? Do these get dirty? Okay. So, so, all right. My name is Carlos and I've been delaying this video for a really long time. But you guys keep asking for it, so let's go ahead and review them. So these are the Audio-Technica M50, the white edition ones. Now, pretty much everyone out there knows that these are budget friendly when it comes to monitoring audio for editing videos, mixing tracks, or creating a dope beat. They're not expensive at all. Now I have mine connected to the Focusrite TI2 using the adapter that it comes with. Design wise, these are beautiful. Maybe I'm just biased, but I love the color white. And that's why these are my favorite pair of headphones that I own. So you have the headband that easily expands to any size you want and the ear cups can fold in so they become a little bit more portable or they can fold to the side so they become flat if you decide to stick them inside a backpack. They will fit really easily inside there. Now everything is as flat when it comes to sound. That's why they're perfect for me when editing videos. I can hear all the times I messed up with my audio in my videos, especially even watching other YouTube videos, you could pretty much notice who has bad audio and who has good audio. I have the older version of these without the removable cable since I didn't want to be dealing with losing the cable. And for listening to music or just sitting back and watching Netflix, they're awesome too. Nothing is overpowered, all the mid, high, and lows are perfectly even with the bass. It does make a huge difference listening with these headphones on. So besides the fact that they have a neutral sound to anything you listen, they do feel comfortable for long periods of editing sessions until you reach like the 3 or 4 hour mark. They start to get a bit uncomfortable and I had to take them off and take a break from them. Not annoying since it does make me take a break and walk away from my computer. Now another huge thing that I like about these is that they do a pretty good job at isolating noise when you wear them since they are a close back headphones. So no worries there. They're also pretty good with sound leakage when you listen to Megan Trainer out in public. No one is going to make fun of you when you're hearing that future husband track. Now the question that everyone has been asking, do they get dirty? And to put into a simple answer, yes, they get dirty. You really have to baby these headphones around if you don't want them to get dirty. If you toss them around and just leave them everywhere, they're going to get dirty. But if you take care of them, you're going to minimize the chance of getting them dirty. Now I have a case on mine that I use to put them in once I'm done using them and I also have them in there when I travel. I'll leave a link down below for this case that I use in the description down below so you guys can go ahead and purchase one if you want to. Now if you do happen to get these and get them dirty, I found that simply a baby wipe nonsense and of course does the trick to clean them right up. Or simply take a damp towel and clean them off that way. That's how I've been able to keep mine clean plus having the case is really good too. So, should you buy the white M50 headphones? Well, it really depends a lot on the person. If you don't want to deal with cleaning them, go ahead and get another color. But if you absolutely love the color white, and trust me, they look badass, and don't mind cleaning them, go for it. Anyways guys, this does it for this review of the white M50s. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to smack that like button and subscribe for more videos. You can follow me on Twitter at MobileCarlos, and Snapchat is MobileCarlos as well. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.